looking directly into the sun is never a good idea. But tomorrow, April the 8th, that is exactly what many people might be tempted to do, which is very dangerous. It is very dangerous. Greetings, good evening everyone, and welcome back to Blogging Tawheed. I just wanted to drop quick updates on why hospitals are on high alerts. The public's massive enthusiasm for the upcoming total solar eclipse may only be matched by the anxiety felt by hundreds of hospitals in the path of totality. And it matters because of millions of people flocking to big cities and small towns to witness tomorrow's eclipse. Hospitals are on high alerts for increased traffic accidents, the potential for mass casualty events, and of course, eye damage. Eclipse fervor will especially strain understaffed healthcare systems in rural towns that may not have dealt with an event of this scale. As the eclipse nears, the feeling is more of apprehension for hospitals. The astronomical phenomenon is partially visible from most of the country, but as many as 4 million people are expected to travel to see the total eclipse. Parts of the South and Plains states could see severe thunderstorms tomorrow, raising additional safety concerns. A 17-page eclipse preparedness booklet from the Federal Health Department offers healthcare providers guidance on everything from eye safety to helicopter rescues to even lessons learned from the last total solar eclipse in 2017. For those interested in the preparedness booklets, I will drop the comment, the link in the comment section. One of the biggest challenges for healthcare system is anticipating just how large the eclipse crowds will be. That's why healthcare organizations across the country are immobilizing ophthalmology, urgent cares, uh, centers, and even mobile units. The issued warnings and protocols ahead of tomorrow's total solar eclipse. All visions or ocular complaints in the settings of viewing the solar eclipse, these patients must be seen or evaluated within 24 to 48 hours of presentation, including flashes or and floaters, red eye, facial trauma, uh, visual acuity, intraocular uh, pressure, etc. And based on the presenting symptoms, appropriate treatment will be indicated if symptoms or signs are suggestive of solar keratitis. Ophthalmologists and optometrists are going to be extremely busy examining patients who mistakenly look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection. So that can actually burn your retinas and cause you to lose vision or become legally blind. It's similar to getting a severe sunburn on the inside of your eye. So when those light rays come in, they're actually being focused into the back of the eye called the macula. Those are the cells that become damaged when those really intense light rays come through. There are no pain perceptors inside your eyes, so you won't feel the burn, but you'll see the damage. The central part of the vision would get grayed out and distorted if you burn that macula area. This is not even the worst case scenario. It can even lead to that area being completely blacked out in the center, not just grayed out, but blacked out if you have severe damage. To keep your eyes safe tomorrow, April the 8th, you'll need a pair of certified solar eclipse glasses because it's a big deal. It's a big deal. This is your eyes. The American Paper Optics, the company has manufactured 300 eclipse glasses over the past 34 years years. We block out 100% of the UV rays and 99.9% .9 of the visible. Sunglasses don't cut it either. During an eclipse, they won't protect your eyes no matter how expensive or dark the lenses. Our safe solar eclipse glasses are 10,000 times stronger than traditional sunglasses. What that means is when you have a legitimate pair of eclipse sunglasses, 
you shouldn't be able to see the hand in front of your face. Experts agree there is only one brief time during the two-hour eclipse experience that you can safely take off ISO-tested and certified glasses. Only during that couple minutes of totality can you remove your glasses and then experience totality. Totality is when the moon completely blocks the sun's face. In most places, it will only last a minute or two. Totality can stretch to over four minutes in areas like the hill country that are in the center of the eclipse path. This allows me to see her eye up close here, so it's all magnified. Anyone who doesn't use proper eye protection might notice blurry vision and colors seeming off within a few hours or days of the eclipse. So if someone does have any symptoms of distorted vision, uh, lines looking wavy after the eclipse, um, and they didn't wear their glasses or they have any concerns, they do need to see their eye doctor right away. Tomorrow, April the 8th, is your last chance to see a total solar eclipse in the 48 United States for 21 years. Don't miss out, but don't make a once-in-a-lifetime experience do a lifetime of damage to your vision. Thank you for watching Blogging Tawheed. Please stay safe out there tomorrow and make sure you have your solar eclipse glasses at all time. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest videos. Till then, peace be with you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.